Hey guys, welcome. Today, I'm gonna walk you through my 2000 Toyota Tundra truck camper. Let's go. Hey guys, welcome. So first, I'll show you the front of my truck in the cab. My buddy and I, we uh, took the back seat out of my truck and we built this box. So you just lifted it up. And you clip it right, right there. Not the easiest with one hand, but it's a lot easier with two. And in here, I got some tools, got my battery. I have uh, some boxes for clothes or for um, electronics. For I have a tarp in there, some tools. Yeah, and then all it is is it's made out of just made out of wood. Got some carpet up here. And then uh, for laundry, I have my laundry bag right here. And I got my guitar back there. So yeah, oh, and then I got my uh, bathroom, it's nothing too special. I got my toothbrush, toothpaste, shaving stuff, deodorant. So yeah, that is uh, pretty, pretty much sums up the, the front of the truck here. So we'll take you to the back here. We'll open her up. So here, I have my bed. It's um, just a four inch piece of foam I bought. And uh, my bed is 28 inches wide by 74 inches long. It's plenty, plenty for me. Uh, I'm, I'm six foot, it works fine. Um, and then I got these drawers here. <clears throat> this one here is where I keep my like, plates, my bowls, my cutlery my uh, can opener and this one down here keep my pots and pans um, my bowls for washing dishes and storing food and then I got my peanut butter paper towels oh and then down here I got some uh, cutting boards So before we get too far into it, I'll show you what I did for waterproofing it. So, because water and stuff when you're driving gets underneath, I put this four inch piece of uh, rubber to, to go in between the, the tailgate and the truck bed. And so far I'm really liking it. I had to add extra glue because it was coming off, but it was no big deal. And on the sides here, I put this weather strip to uh, block the gap for the tailgate in the bed on this side. And I also did the same thing over here. So far I'm really liking how, how everything worked out. Um, no complaints yet. And then for the topper, I had holes right here that were let in some water. So I siliconed that. And uh, this side here, I think is pretty much waterproof. But this side here, it lets off some water inside, so when it rains, I put a towel right there and that soaks it up. So, yeah, it's not too bad. Then over here, I got another drawer. In this one, I just have pancake mix and thermocell. And up here, I got my Dometic refrigerator. Um, I usually I keep like eggs and ground beef and some veggies in there. I'm hoping that maybe in the summertime when it's really, really hot, I can uh, I'll buy some ice cream and stick it in there. Keep it nice and cool, nice and frozen. But um, yeah, and then uh, here's my, my stove. So it's just an Arica uh, two burner stove. Um, so far, I'm really liking it. I have no complaints. And 
just goes right in there like that. Now uh, we'll take you to the inside and we'll show you that. Hey guys, so this is inside the truck topper. Um, so right away, you'll probably notice that I have these two jugs here. They are um, 2.5 gallon, gallons each. And uh, one I keep for my drinking water and one for my uh, water for washing dishes. And right here, I'll take you. Let's open this up, puts it around this clip. Right here, I keep my fan, keep my uh, uh, hammock straps, sleeping bag liner, some vitamins, um, some aloe when I get burned. And yeah, I had some magnets on here, so you just drop it down and it goes right into place. And then uh, this spot here I can just use for whatever, like I just put my laptop on here or like water jugs or extra food and then I can just put like a bunch of from here to here so they don't fall off or here to here. And then uh, for right here, I had this another one. And here I just keep like uh, my books. I keep um, some charging cables. Um, yeah, just stuff that I can't use. I'm going going to bed so I can charge my cameras and whatnot. So when I wake up, they're all full. And then here, I have storage for like uh, my socks, my towels, some uh, granola bars, and some earplugs. And just random stuff in here. I, I think I have another towel in there too. So you just put that back. And then uh, for my propane, I keep extra propane here. I have some in there. I think I have four in there right now. And these are drawers. This one here, I keep uh, like my t-shirts. I just have some socks in there too. They have some pants in there also. And this one here on the left side, keep some food. This one here is not that nice of a drawer for sliding in and out because it's really really like wide and not that like deep. Um, it can be a pain sometimes especially when it's full of food. And I have this one here. This one here I keep like I have a chair in there. I have some shorts, some sweatshirts and all that good stuff in there. And then uh, for my compartments that, I, for stuff I don't use too often. I have a car compartment right back here. Put this up. And then like, I have my bibs, my cooler. Then I have some like oil and stuff for changing oil and whatever else. I, I think I have a trailer hub the hub assembly in my for my wheels. And you stick that right in there. Beautiful. And you just put the bed back. Oh and then for charging stuff, I can show you this too. So I have my solar panel stuff right here. I have um, my solar charger back there. I have my fuse box. And uh, everything runs into this stuff right here. So. So right up here, I have uh, the board that shows me what I'm generating, what I'm using. So right now I'm using 0.1 amps. I'm generating 0.1 amps off the solar panels. And then I guess I'm taking some off the battery too right now. And then right here, I have my on and off switch in case um, I run really low on power or I just want the battery charge or something happened. I can just turn it off, turn it back on. And then uh, for my USB stuff, I have three USB ports. And then I have three 12 volt 
car plugs. To just charge my electronics and I guess that's pretty much it. Electronics. Um then back here. Take you back here now. For my rods that I'm when I travel around right in here. Just unscrew this. And then you can just grab them right here. And there you go. Got my rods. I guess there's one more piece up here. Just like that. Um, oh, and then one more thing too, before I forget. So for like, I was trying to figure out something to do for privacy and for making my truck topper so it doesn't get super hot. My buddy and I, we uh, tinted all the truck topper windows to 5% um, tint. Um, so for privacy, like nine out of 10, they work, they work very well. Uh, if you have light inside, uh, obviously people can see in. But uh, privacy is not too bad. But for heat, like when's summertime out, like nine, 10 o'clock in the morning, this thing is toasting. Like you could bake an egg in there. So um, for keeping things cool or for keeping things warm when it's cold outside, 5% tint didn't really work for that. But um, I guess that gets you out of bed early in the morning or earlier uh, than usual. So I guess one more thing. It's right up here, I'll show you. I have two 200 watt solar panels and I just bolt them on to uh, some 90 degree aluminum uh, pieces I bought from like Menards. Not like the best idea ever, but um, it works. I had to drill some holes in my topper, which it's a old truck, so I guess it doesn't really matter. So every, every day they charge the battery to 100%. Um, out of the things I've charged, I've never ran the battery below 50%, which is great, awesome for me. I love it. Um, so other than that, I think, I think that's, I think that's all. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm hoping to post a lot more in the near future. So uh, like and subscribe, please, and follow along the adventure. Thank you.